the show that invented news. This is The Daily Show with your host, Michael Tasta. Let's kick things off with an update on the war in the Middle East. The situation is getting worse. The war is escalating. Casualties are mounting. But there might be some help on the way. Breaking news right now from the White House to the war zone. President Biden this evening is leaving Washington for Israel. With the conflict raging, the risk great. It is highly unusual that the White House would publicly confirm a presidential trip. But Secretary of State Antony Blinken, after a seven-hour marathon meeting with Israel's prime minister overnight, made the announcement. On Wednesday... President Biden will visit Israel. And that visit is intended to try to cool things down, to try to uh, ratchet down the tensions somewhat, in, in, in some way, if he can succeed, in addition to reaffirming U.S. solidarity with Israel. Well, we'll see how, if there's any chance of this being successful. That's right. President Biden is facing this issue head on and going straight into a war zone. He's flying to Israel tonight, although he's 80 years old, so he did get to the airport two days ago. And... <laughs> I'm proud of Biden for putting himself in harm's way. Although, let's be honest, Biden doing anything pretty much puts him in harm's way. A, a rocket strike is dangerous, but so's a bicycle. And I bet he can cool things down there, because if there's one thing Biden is good at, it's cooling things down, whether it's a war, heated rhetoric, or voter enthusiasm. But all jokes aside, I really am glad to have a president who's there because it's comforting to have a leader who might actually de-escalate a situation. Donald Trump went to console hurricane victims, and by the time he was done, we were at war with Syria. So good luck to Biden and anyone who's trying to end the war. Anyway, let's move on to the biggest cluster f outside of the Middle East, the U.S. Congress. Two weeks ago, the House was thrown into chaos by Matt Gates. Florida Republican, and what happens when you photocopy Matthew McConaughey too many times? <laughs> he staged a coup against Kevin McCarthy, Speaker of the House, and what happens when you photocopy John Slattery too many times? <laughs> and after that, everyone said the Republicans were too divided to elect a new Speaker, and it turns out everyone was right. Breaking news. Chaos on Capitol Hill. The Republican House dysfunction continues as the fight for a new Speaker of the House continues to sputter. Congressman Jim Jordan of Ohio did not even come close to clinching the speakership. He failed rather ignominiously to win the gavel on the first ballot. Jim Jordan has 20 Republicans who decided to vote for someone other than him. In a few cases, they voted for a guy who isn't even in Congress anymore. Jordan! That's right. A big loss today for Jim Jordan, Ohio representative, and what you get when you photocopy your grandfather's toe too many times. So, as of now, it's been two weeks of Republicans arguing with each other, and they still haven't been able to agree on a new speaker, which is a big deal. The Speaker of the House is the person responsible for speaking in... <laughs> in the house so if they don't have one then nobody is speaking and it's just so quiet in there and congress can't do anything until they figure this out they can't pass laws they can't send foreign aid to ukraine and they can't impeach hunter biden's penis this is the daily show 